Now to our other top story, a major MAX line disruption happening now. Take a look. Passengers had to get off the MAX and walk on the tracks after their ride came to an abrupt stop because of damaged overhead wires. So here's what you need to know at this point. The blue, green, and red lines are not running in this area from the Northeast 7th Avenue station to the Gateway Transit Center. Instead, shuttle buses are helping people get from place to place. Fox 12's Bonnie Silkman is live at the MAX station at Northeast 7th and Holiday. And Bonnie, this is not great news for riders who depend on the MAX trains. Yeah, absolutely. It is not, Wayne. Uh, you know, TriMet told me that they think that this major disruption tonight is impacting thousands of riders, possibly tens of thousands of riders. Now, we do know that there's extensive damage to one of the train's overhead wires, but exactly how that damage happened and when these trains will get moving again in this area, unfortunately, we just still don't know. These MAX riders are technically still using the tracks to get where they need to go, but walking wasn't what they had in mind. Around 4.30, 4.45 this afternoon, we got word of a major service disruption. There was some sort of damage to the overhead wire that powers the trains. And one of the trains had two pantographs. Those are the arms that connect the train to the overhead wire, which gives it power. The pan both pantographs on that train were damaged and the people on board when that happened ended up here. One writer tells us the overhead wire was dragging on the train's roof, shooting off sparks and debris. He says the train came to a slow stop and eventually passengers opened up the doors and walked out onto the tracks back to the Hollywood Transit Center. TriMet says the conductor determined that wire was not live and that walking was safe. At this point, we don't know what happened. You could call it a perfect storm as far as a service disruption goes. That's because it happened during a busy rush hour on a weekday, a few hours before a Blazers game at a central part of the city, affecting three major lines. The timing of it all is, is really unfortunate. Thousands, if not tens of thousands of people affected tonight. I'm just trying to get home, go look for a bus to get home, really. I was just trying to take the max, but. And now you can see huge lines of people waiting for shuttle buses, trying to sub in for those missing trains. But there's only 30 buses in rotation. They don't fit as many people, and they have to fight the traffic on the roads just like everyone else. We have shuttle buses helping our riders get between here at Lloyd Center all the way out to Gateway, and those shuttles are stopping at each station along the way. And then riders can, once they get to Gateway, they can transfer to the blue, green, or red and wherever and continue on their destination. Do you rely on the MAX and the public uh, transit? Absolutely. System? have ever since I moved here. It's critical. It's really critical to me. I'm just trying to get home and stuff before it gets really late. Okay, here's another look at that map. Another reminder for you. The blue, green, and red MAX lines are not running tonight from the Northeast 7th Avenue station to the Gateway Transit Center. This is expected to last all night and into tomorrow. But if you take a look, a live look out here with us, you can see shuttle buses are out here making stops at each station in this affected area. You can see a whole line of shuttle buses, a bunch of people getting on there. Of course, they do not fit as many people as uh, the TriMet or the MAX uh, trains. So big problems. You can expect big delays. Uh, again, no word on when the trains will get moving again, but just give yourself plenty of time. If you're waking up in the morning and wondering what's going on, just head to TriMet's website and we'll, of course, keep you updated. As soon as we learn more, you'll be the first to know. For now, reporting live in Northeast Portland, Bonnie Silkman, Fox 12, Oregon.